we want to solve the given differential equation. Notice how the form of the differential equation does fit the form of an exact differential equation. However, we still need to check to make sure it is exact by checking to make sure the partial of m with respect to y equals the partial of n with respect to x. Notice m of x comma y is equal to two x plus y and n of x comma y is equal to x minus four y. And now let's determine the partial of m with respect to y by differentiating two x plus y with respect to y, treating x as a constant, which gives us zero plus one or one. And now let's determine the partial of n with respect to x by differentiating x minus four y with respect to x, treating y as a constant. Notice the partial of n with respect to x is also one. So we do have an exact differential equation where the solution is big F of x comma y equals c, such that the partial of f with respect to x equals m, and the partial of f with respect to y equals n. We can start with either equation, but let's go ahead and start with the first equation. Since the partial of f with respect to x is equal to m, if we integrate both sides of the equation with respect to x, we can recover the function big F of x comma y except for a function of y. This indicates that big F of x comma y is equal to the integral of m, which is the quantity two x plus y dx. Again, just remember, the constant of integration is not going to be just c, it's going to be a function of y. This indicates that big F of x comma y is equal to two times x squared divided by two or x squared, and then plus x y, and then plus a function of y. And now we'll use the second equation to determine a of y. The partial of f with respect to y must equal n, and if big F is equal to x squared plus ax plus a of y, then the partial of f with respect to y must equal the derivative of x squared with respect to y, which is zero, plus the derivative of x y with respect to y, which is x, and then plus the derivative of a of y with respect to y is a prime of y. And this must equal n, which is x minus four y. Well, analyzing the equation, we can see that a prime of y must equal negative four y. So if a prime of y is equal to negative four y, then if we integrate both sides of the equation with respect to y, we can recover a of y. This gives us a of y equals the integral of negative four y dy which is equal to negative four times y squared divided by two, or negative two y squared. So now we know the potential function big F of x comma y is equal to x squared plus x y plus a of y, which is negative two y squared, giving us minus two y squared. And therefore the general solution which is what we are looking for, is equal to big F of x comma y equals c, or x squared, plus x y minus two y squared equals c. We could try solving for y, but I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as an implicit equation. I hope you found this helpful.